Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today I will be trying to make a, another airship, but this one's going to be a little different. We're going to mimic a blimp sort of thing going on, but we're going to use the docking port Kraken Drive to help us out. So first things first is I need to figure out for 20 tons with, uh, I'm guessing that's going to be probably our craft size. It's going to be a smaller airship, not nothing too big, but 20 tons. 20 tons seems a lot, so if we can lift up 20 tons using the uh, Kraken Drive, docking port Kraken Drive, then I know we can at least do something of an air blimp style. And who knows, maybe we'll do something where it's like the, the blimp over the little airship or something will be just strong, just shy of lifting it off the ground, right? It won't be strong enough to lift it up by itself. It'll need like propellers on the side. But that means what that means is we can turn off the propellers and then it'll gradually go down. So that'll be our way of controlling up and down, sort of. We just turn off the power and it'll just slowly go down. So maybe the air, maybe the blimp will be strong enough just shy of lifting the entire thing up by itself. That's a, that's a thought. Now it's actually been a while since I've made the docking port crack and drives. So this could get interesting. To be honest, I can't remember how close or how far away we need to get them for maximum potential. I think it's like that. I can't remember. We'll figure it out. Matter of fact, let's let's do that first. Let's figure out the best the best uh, thing for this. The best design. Okay, this is about one ton, a little over one ton. All right, uh, let's go ahead and engage. Hmm, interesting. All right, here we go. So how close and how far away can we get? All right, and uh, let's see here. Engage. Ooh, it said no. <laughs> Give me something, anything, a wiggle. Ah, okay. So right here, you s weak. Okay, so that's not strong. Whoa, hey, hey, ah, oh, shit. 20, huh? As soon as I start doing 22, nothing. How about if I do like straight up to 12? All right, 12 is nothing. 14, 15. Okay, 15 gives me some power. How about 18? Oh, whoa, 18. All right, let's put some more more weight on this. Okay, so we've learned that this contraption here can lift up approximately 7.2 tons at a uh, extension limit of 0 0.175, which is the max. Let's see, so 0 0.175, so that is right there. That's uh, the, the max potential you can get out of this crack and drive, uh, this design anyway. So let's make sure that our Minimum is the same. All right, now we're going to transfer grade over because I, I really do want this to be all the way in when it's closed off. So in order to transfer the grade, we're just going to put a little marker in here. All right, that's good because what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to bring this all the way down just like this. All right, so now I can extend it all the way out and back and it's perfect every time. 7.28 tons, huh? All right, let me, uh, I got to remember that. Let me write that down. <laughs> Crack and drive. So the first thing we're going to do is build just a kind of fuselage and uh, then we'll we'll start making it better and making it more better looking and stuff as we go along. This is more of a prototype airship blip.
kind of don't get it because the center of mass is right there. So what gives? I don't know. All right, engaging blimp. There it goes again. Hmm. 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 All right, engaging blimp. Right now it's going forward. Very, very twitchy. I mean, I put it right on the damn center of mass. I, I don't. But that's what I. That's where I was before. And it gave me. It gave me. Uh, hmm. Maybe I need to strut them down real good. Maybe they're warping and bending on the inside, which changes the, the thrust a little bit. Yep, there it goes again. Wants to do the nose. Ah, come on. Oh, jeez. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, well, it, yeah, it's it's already strutted. It's all strutted to hell, so I don't... I don't uh, <sighs> da, da, da. Let me do this. doesn't matter that it's right on top of the COM. It's, it's, uh, it's not going to work for some reason. So I'm just going to pull it forward just a little bit. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Just give it a little bit of a poof. Ah, ha, 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 ha. All right, now I'm going to turn engines off. Ah, see, engines are totally off right now. There's no thrust. Just slowly gliding on down. Nice and gentle. I said gentle. I said gentle. Gentle? Ooh, gentle. Gentle, 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 gentle. Okay, cool. Let's activate this engine and see what happens when I go full throttle. Oh, oh no, oh no, shut down. Oh dear, oh dear, shut down. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh dear, oh, ah, ah, go, ah. Okay, so proof of concept, it does work. You really don't need these big giant engines. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and replace these with something a little bit more, uh, difficult. I feel like I want to go real old fashioned, real steampunk, you know? Hmm? Maybe I should make these individual. Alrighty then, let's do this. That might be too fast to be honest. Alright. Oh, we ran out of power. I'm no aviation expert, but shouldn't that be lifting up the direction of the blades? I'm just saying, it's a little weird. It does not like to nosedive whatsoever. What the hell? Oh, the torque on the back is evil. They're about to lose control. I can feel it. Ah, there we go. Ah, there she goes. Mm-hmm. Dang. Can I park it right here? 
This is good, right? Thanks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am out of time. I want to work on this some more, so this is just a prototype, but uh, it's actually pretty cool, and I'm loving it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all later. Bye-bye. Don't click the golden dragon skull on the bottom left. Don't do it. You'll be subjected to horrible videos every day. Why would you subject yourself to that? <laughs>